What's good, Crazy Emulation? We back at it with another emulation video. This is UFC 2010 running on the Xena emulator, which is the Xbox 360 emulator. I was able to finally get this game to run since I couldn't get it run on RPCS3. So I decided to switch over to the Windows side since my Steam Deck is dual booted and it ran actually really good. It stayed very stable. I was able to play two matches, but you will go ahead and see how the game runs. Hope you enjoy the gameplay. Please leave a like and subscribe. And as always, leave me requests and I'll take care of them as fast as I can. Have a nice time. So, you want to be a fighter? It's not just how hard you hit. for this battle, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC Light Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil, Mauricio. Shogun Hula! And now, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a Machida Karate fighter. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Bellum, Brazil, Leoto the Dragon! of this contest is Herb Dean. There she is, the beautiful Ariani. Are you ready to fight? Mauricio Shogun Hua, Lyoto Machida. On, and here we go. Lyoto the Dragon Machida, Joe the true karate kid. Lyoto Machida is one of the most successful karate stylists in all of mixed martial arts. The only one that I can think of other than him is Chuck Liddell, who's also a Kempo stylist. Lyoto has incredible Shotokan karate. Actually, they call it Machida karate, and he has adapted to mixed martial arts. He got tagged there, Mike. Sure did. Oh, big shots. I mean, there is no hesitation. He is for... Oh, big kick. Beautiful head kick there. Good shots. Oh! Nice leg kick. Man, you could hear that one. Very solid. Shogun puts together a combination. Shogun has some of the best and most flashy combinations in the sport. He's got the clinch. Oh! Nice big the boxing. Nice work. Work in the midsection. Takes a couple to the body. Yeah, the referee's going to separate him. Well over two minutes remains in round number right, one. All right, they'll go toe-to-toe -to -toe once again. Some vicious kicks. Oh, to the mid speed right hook. He's rocked. It is all over. Knockout victory. Leona Machida with the victory. Let's take a look at that again. Look at the timing of this hook, Mike. And here we see it again. Just an incredible amount of torque he puts into that. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 46 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Leoto the Dragon Machida. Leoto Machida is the winner.
Okay, so the second match is coming up. Uh, let me give you an explanation. So if you remember in UFC, um, I guess we do a final blow and the guy automatically goes down and you gotta go down to the ground to finish him. That part gets blacked out. I don't know if it's an emulation issue or it's something that I might gotta change in the game's configuration files, but I'll figure it out whenever I get a chance. But once that goes away, the gameplay comes back to normal, which you will see. skills good at pretty much everything but when he faced anderson silva anderson silva made nate marquardt look like he was just starting out in the sport nate marquardt is a future great i mean he's a very good fighter a very solid professional but anderson silva is something special and he really showed that in that fight with nate marquardt make any mistake it's about to come out right about anderson here silva is going to be there to capitalize on that open oh, big see right hand. so i did him a big right hand can't see nothing and then give it a little bit, the gameplay comes back to normal. So that part, again, might be an English issue, or I might got put one of the config patch files that I do be seeing on J Hub for this emulator. I'll take a look into it whenever I get a chance. I hope y'all did enjoy the gameplay though. As always, leave a like, subscribe, and questions, and I'll holler y'all the next video.